We're not here to solve the world's problems, we're here to address them. We do in our little bit. Like we're no longer on the sidelines, like now we're engaged. <laughs> Uh, we're currently in Dubai Airport here, waiting for the flight out to uh, out to Nairobi. We've been here now for a few hours, and a few of us are a few of us are asleep. Uh, we got a bit of kip on the plane, but not too much. We're all kind of feeling a bit excited now to be on on the the next leg of the journey, the final leg uh, before we arrive in Africa, uh, and, and that one step closer to to meeting everyone in Bamba and, and helping the kids out there. Uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity again, like Luke's been said before, just to thank everyone that's helped us uh, get to this stage. Hoping it's going to be a, an eye-opening experience. Uh, I think it's one of the things that you have to go out and see for yourself to believe it. Well, not to believe it, but like, I don't think, like I'd say if someone told you that this stuff was happening, you'd be like, oh yeah. But if you saw it in front of you, you'd have, you'd be more empathetic about it, I think. It's a good tattoo, yeah? Yeah, so we're visiting a slum, visiting some families in a slum. And uh, Moses has got some, we bought some stuff for them, and we're just delivering it for, for Moses on behalf of Moses. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you can enter. I will not enter. Tell it to Let's go. What is that? Can you explain it? It's a gift. Yeah. It's a gift? Yeah, they, For who? For one of the families that we are visiting. Sorry. Yeah. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. <laughs> I think we're out of the house, out of my little in the slums, <laughs> right now, so we'll find out what it looks like, I suppose. Hello. Hello. Hello.
Hello. This is a school. <coughs> we visited the school that was in the centre of the slum and there was about could have been maybe like 400 students there. They were all very young, they were all maybe three or four or five years old. And um, as soon as we walked in, they started singing the welcome song. And then I went into the first classroom and they sang it. I was like, oh, that's dead. And then I like, went in, waved to the other teacher, and then they sang it as well. I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> then we went out and they sang it again, so that was great. That's supposed to be Well done, applause. They were uh, they were really enthusiastic about their work. They were they were like throwing the copies at us, showing us what they did, and the, the drawings and all and their, their maths and their spellings. Say hello, say hello, say hello to the camera here with them. Hello. hello. Uh, there's about 18 elephants and uh, they're, just, they're baby elephants who were rescued from, uh, who got into trouble or got separated from their families and stuff and they rescued them and they're feeding them and looking after them and they'll release them when they're older. Come here. Go, go, Matthew. Go, 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 go. <laughs> What's the feeling? What's the feeling? Weird. <laughs> it doesn't This project is on education, where the standard of education in this area is very low. People do not value education due to ignorance and poverty and for this reason people don't go to school what is common early marriages are very common because people view marriages as so so well many fathers and mothers believe that when the child is above 14 or 13 years is worth for marriage so we're here today in Bamba and uh, we're working together on a project with a number of different nationalities. So we're working with uh, Polish students, Italians and Kenyans, so the locals. Um, this project is all about solidarity, so we're working together uh, to build a better future for this community uh, by building a classroom, uh, which you can see behind me, um, a shower block and toilet facilities, brand new for the area and also an upgrade to the medical facilities, the medical dispensary where we are uh, painting and fixing the guttering and just upgrading the facilities for the use of everyone in the local area. Um, one of the great things about this project is that it, it, it's quite unique in that it brings together all of the different nationalities where we can, or we have to live together and we can learn from each other. Sending greetings to my family in Poland, Poland because I'm from Poland. Mom and Dad, I'm still alive. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. My name is Jeremy. And I'm On the Irish side, we're 
we're quite musical, so we're enjoying sharing our music uh, with the other uh, nationality. of the Polish and we've tasted the food of the Italians uh, and obviously the food of the Kenyans and I mean I think everyone all of the Europeans are, are quite taken back by the, the huge amount of hard work that the local Africans are putting in um, and we're all learning a lot about the, the, the skills of trade that they use here um, so so impressive moment well the first step this process is I get a length of wire like this that John has put I put it through the nails like this and then I get the pipe and I bend it to the right angle then after that I move it to a different set of nails again put the pipe through and bend it to the right angle again. Gonna keep doing this until I get to the square. Before I do before I do the last bit I cross them over each other so that they uh, don't stick out too much so that they are as flat as possible. So like this. Up, and then this goes back on. So that's made, and that joins the coil over there. properly. You just have to put it into all the mixture and make it wet, I suppose. So now what we're doing is I'm painting this back door of the dispensary and um, a few other people are painting different types of buildings. The dispensary is being cream and brown and um, people around the front are painting the gates black. Some of the doors are going brown and um, if you look over here we're all painting, painting, painting. So many coats, like this, every wall takes three coats and then you have to add another coat for some reason on it. Uh, if you look over there, the blue and cream building, that's the shower block. Uh, a few people are painting that, that's just about done. You just have to paint the touch up on the lines, make them straight, kind of like this. Uh, paint the floors, and then the building beside that over there is where we're sleeping, but there are also classrooms. And they are going the same colour, except the top is going to be white on it. And they're just touching up on that again, putting another coat on it, and making the Blue brighter, really. Uh, Jose, say hello to the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm Jose Maria, and we are painting with our friends, and 
Yeah, we really love him to do that. Yes. So as part of the experience in Kenya, there, there's a multitude of jobs, one of which being um, housekeeping. So, uh, you know, you do the, the chores around the house, but as well you prepare the food. And from the generosity of the local people, we ended up getting 12 chickens. Um, and we have the privilege of having meat every day, not chicken, but meat every day. But that'd be very unusual in this area because they'd only have um, a piece of meat, like as part of their diet every month, once a month. Um, and I learned very quickly then preparing the chicken that they're not very easy to catch. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing now is we're cutting what's this called? Oh, matumbo. Matumbo. We're cutting it into little bits and we're going to cook it. Yeah, yeah, you cook it. You're going to cook it later. I'm not in Bauhan. Yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> So where you are? Uh, so I tip. You know, you have to have a So. Wait, sorry. Is it going to be Claudius? What's your name? Howard. Oh, I know you, I'm there. What's my name? Ayo. Owen. Yes. So, Owen. Can you explain what kid is this? Uh, this is Bamba Primary School. Just played a match against the kids. Uh, we let them win. No, no, we lost the final. Uh, kids are really happy. Nice uniform, isn't it? Yeah, pretty good day. King got some bomb, put out some cream on the shoulder. Have leprosy. <laughs> The way people who sponsor the class we're building, anyway, they ask us to also give away some small gifts. So one of the days we visited local secondary school, uh, Nithingani High School, and we uh, did a show entertainment piece and we all got up on kind of a stage and, and we were singing songs, trading songs, so they did some local songs and we brought some songs from Ireland. Um, and I started doing one and we would never played to so many people and I was kind of nervous and all the kids started laughing when I started. I was mortified then because I, I thought they were laughing at me. But little did I know, the one of the teachers in the back was loving it. He was up and dancing behind me, so that was great to kind of know that they weren't laughing at me and that they were all, they were all enjoying it. They were all start work with construction and painting at around 9am and then we work until 11am but after at 11am we'd be very tired and very hot from the sun and all the hard work we've been doing so we'd walk towards the um, priest's house and go for a tea break but as we walk there we are um, sort of, um, like just all the kids are on the break as well and they just all run towards you and just the smiles on the face to see you in the it zungo it's just it's really just amazing to see what like what your like what your effort and hard work has gone into. So the build cash for these kids is just amazing. And they take every little thing, like use every little thing for like a toy, everything 
because everything makes them happy. Like, none of them's ever upset, and they're all happy. They all smile. They're like just so cute, so funny, and they love to jump, the up, down game, take the L, and what else do you do? We are in the disabled school of Bamba at the moment and uh, we just visited the disabled kids and uh, we gave them pens or pencils and crayons and notebooks and uh, yeah we we talked to them for a bit, sang a song with them and uh, yeah just did our best to help them out as much as we could. I was quite shocked to see uh, some of the children in there. Hello, I'm Adam. We are, this is the last day here in Kenya, in Bamba. Since now, we have been all the school, almost finished. Today we will end the roof. The metal sheets will be placed on the top of it. We are also going to finish plastering this wall. Unfortunately, we can't make it to plaster all the walls, so we are leaving some job for people from Italy. I hope they can make it. to um, look on the bright side so when I went there one of the first things I noticed was the positivity and the optimism that um, vibrated from the people um, in Kenya in the face of adversity in they were living in poverty they didn't have much and our problems when contrasted against theirs are like so insignificant and we let ourselves be put down by those problems it's just an amazing trip. We, we've met some amazing people, had some extraordinary experiences, and I don't think any of us will ever will ever forget this trip. Uh, I think it's just it's it's actually it's difficult to put into words, but it's just uh, it's just been amazing. I think it was a culture shock for a lot of us at, at the start, but we, we got over that fairly quickly, and we, we seem to settle in well with the locals and, and with the the other teams that we're working with on the ground.